So let's see if we can find uh, a patch. And I already know that there is one here, a patch that uses four different stomp boxes. And if I remember right, it's indie cred. So let me just select that. And it does. It has four different stomp boxes along here. And you can see that right here. OK, so what we're now going to do is map um, those four different FCB 1010 foot switches, uh, two, three, four and five into each and every stomp box. So two, three, four and five will be my foot switches and they will be sending CC in this first one here, 22, 23, 24 and 25. OK, so now that the foot switch has been programmed, we can just simply use main stages MIDI learn function to map those uh, values to each and every stomp box. So let me go from edit mode into a layout mode here where I will assign the MIDI value. And just zoom this in. So the first parameter I'm going to map is the on off switch of the first stomp box. So I'll click that. and what will happen at that point if you look over in the left hand side of the screen you'll see the screen control inspector okay and I'll bring that up a little bit for you so you can see and I'm going to click the MIDI learn function and right after I do that I'm going to step on the um, uh, foot switch number two and bank zero to assign to that first stomp box okay so click learn it will go red it's listening to the port and now I'm going to press on foot switch number two and as I did that you can see what happened it updated it to the device it heard it and saw that uh, that the event came in on the FCB 1010 device channel one single value is fine and the number that we had already mapped was CC 22 okay so that is already done what we can now do is we can move on to our next stop box let me just move around here a little bit Hopefully this isn't making you dizzy. Let's go to stomp box number two, and we're going to do the same mapping there. Okay, so except this time, I'm going to press on foot switch number three, and this should update the corresponding values. I'm still in MIDI learn function. Okay, and again, as I press foot switch three, it recognizes the FCB 1010 and CC 23. Let's do the same thing for stomp box number three we're still in MIDI learn and now I'm going to step on foot switch four which I did and it recognized CC 24 let's do the same thing for oops for our fourth stomp box here we're still in MIDI learn and now I'm gonna map that to foot switch number five which I'm stepping on right now so just watch the number right here and there you go, it recognized CC26. So I can unclick learn. And what that means is that at this point, what we've been able to successfully do is map each and every one of these stomp box on off controls to a foot switch on the FCB 1010. Okay, so now uh, we have to go back into, well, so we've only done the MIDI mapping at this point in time. Now we have to map the action. So in order to do that within main stage, we go into uh, edit mode. So you can see we're in layout mode when we did the MIDI mapping part of it. Let's click edit mode. Okay. And we're now in edit mode right now. And if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, you can see this patch inspector area. Okay. As soon as I click the um, the corresponding on off switch it will then go into the uh, into the mapping function okay so if we take a look at that you can see it's already mapped to uh, slot one stop box one state if we go into number two and I clicked on that maybe I should zoom this in a little bit for you so you can see it two already mapped to slot two stop box state and then slot three when I click on the third and when I click on the fourth it's slot four stop box state. What has happened at this point in time is we've been able to map each and every one of those controls. Okay so the final 
component is for us to go in and do our testing. So for that, I'll go into perform mode. And let me just zoom this screen in so we get a really good look at the at the stop boxes here. So again, if we um, if we simply recap, I'm going to have stop box or rather foot switch two on the FCB 1010 map to the first stop box, and then three will be mapped to the second one, four to three, and five to four. I know that's a little bit confusing, but it just uh, gives you a better idea of what's going on. So right now, I'm going to uh, stomp on foot switch number two of bank zero, and that should turn the high drive on. And as you can see, the power switch came up in red, and right now, I'm just foot switch toggling that on and off right now. Okay. So that's on. So let's now go to foot switch number three, which was mapped to the second stop box. I'm going to press that, and as you can see, stop box two comes on. And now pressing on uh, foot switch four, which mapped on to stop box three, and it's on. And now I'm going to press number five, which should turn on the four stop box. And it did, in fact, do that. So you can now see that we've been able to map each and every foot switch to. Uh, the four stop boxes. And as I just go through there, I can toggle each one on and off. So really at this point in time, you're em emulating just like a regular stop box that you'd have in your pedal board, and you just go ahead and you turn them on and off as much as you want. And that's how you would do that uh, that part there. So that's all, all well and good, and really at this point, for all intents and purposes, uh, we've, we've completed that part of it, but there's a couple of neat tricks that I just want to show you that really helps out a lot.